Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Max and Trev with Buzz Talks here with our reaction for Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 6. This episode's titled Beyond the Wall. How's it going, Trev? Very good. It was Beyond the Wall. It was. Um, what did you think of this episode? I thought it was great. Really great. For what I was expecting it to be, There's a, I have a few gripes, but on a whole, they, they, they pulled me in. I'm down with their narrative now. I can't help feel shitty after watching this episode. Why? Like, I realized the spectacle was good, but I just, like, no matter how much I try and lie to myself and tell myself it was good, I can't like it. I don't, I just can't bring myself to like it. I just don't like what it was. I think there were a lot of plot holes in it. I think it was just poorly written, and it made no sense in a lot of cases. And I thought, I just thought it was a big mess in a lot of situations. So, I try to like it, but I feel like I'm just... I'm leaving it feeling kind of shitty and I'm like scared for what's going to happen moving forward. I think everyone's expectations were super high because just historically we've always had a big second last episode and it it seemed even we were sort of evangelizing how big this episode was going to be and it wasn't as b a big of an episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just a, a plot episode. Yeah, some big things happened in it but it wasn't like a dedicated to one group or it wasn't a big huge battle scene uh it wasn't this decisive thing that happened it was just what happened right i just think i just think it goes the episode seemed like that because they had to structure it like that to feed the narrative of capturing a white like this whole capturing the white thing affected this episode so much to the point where it went against all of the previous rules that they set up like a lot of stuff pissed me off in this episode and like Suspension of disbelief is like a really careful thing. Like up until this point, I've been able to suspend my disbelief and believe it and really appreciate the show. But this episode destroyed my suspension of disbelief to the point where I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. Um, like just like over the wall, the way they dealt with the White Walkers, I thought it was stupid. Like I feel like every single scene we've seen with the White Walkers, they're traveling south, they're in a pack, they're never separate. And then, just for the sake of plot, I feel like, like, why the hell was the that one white walker with a group of ten whites? Why was he alone? Well, no, it seems like they spread out. Like, think of the one that, like, Sam, passed by Sam. You didn't see the Night's King there. They do, they do almost like, they spread out. They don't, they don't, there is it, what seems like to me as a group of the four that are always together. But there's like, I don't know what you would call them, like, lieutenants or captains of their own platoon and we saw that and it kind of dealt with that if you think about it because they killed the one and his dudes dropped but there was another white there from another white walker yeah i just think it was handled so like oh i'm so angry like just looking back at it because like if you look at last season when bran was attacked by the white walkers and the whites if you look at Hard Home when they were attacked, like, it's a massacre. Like, they don't stop. They don't just walk around. They, like, they go full tilt. And I feel like they nerfed them for the sake of telling, trying to pull together this bullshit story that they started last episode. Certain things pissed me off. The whole water thing, like, it seemed like to me with D&D, &D, the producers of the show were like, oh, in Hard Home we proved that they can't walk across water. So we'll integrate that and we'll have the ice break. We live in Canada. There's no way if you're that far north, the ice would come close to melting or breaking under that kind of pressure. It broke when only like 10 people stepped on it. And then they waited for it to refreeze and it was frozen enough in that day that it wasn't the before that. To me, it makes absolutely no sense. Ugh. And then they just like they refused to go into that little puddle that was in front of them. But during the fight scene after, they're clamoring over each other falling into the water and climbing out of the water like to me it just didn't make any sense and it didn't add up yeah you get what i mean or did you feel that at all because like they're they literally during the fight scene they were falling in the water climbing out of the water grabbing people trying to drag tormund under the water john was dragged underwater but they refused to step over literally this two foot hole in the ice and the ice shouldn't have, shouldn't have even broken in the first place and that was awful because it just ruined the action. Like, you had something so good going here, and then we follow our characters standing on a rock. And then the hound thinks it's fun to throw a rock at a couple of them, and then they and then they, they find out that the ice is frozen from the rock flying across the pond, which for some reason is more frozen than it was 
two days ago makes absolutely no sense to me. So like, I just, I, I really wanted to enjoy it, but like as much as I try and lie to myself to, to like it, I just, I just can't. Like, I just don't like the way they handled it. And I feel like they could have done so many more reveals and they played it so straight and Benjin, like what? Like he just came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Aww. And the White Walkers, I I, th I think he came out of nowhere. And John, you think John's safe, and you see the Whites walking away from the scene, and then Benjamin swoops in and saves John. The Whites start to turn around because they realize John is there. Well, why are they leaving? Because they return to resurrect a dragon. Yeah. So there's little things that I'm like, why? Like, how does that make any sense? Why would you leave to come back to resurrect the dragon? Like the Whites shouldn't have left that point. They left because of plot. Well, they they needed them to leave. So I thought it was so dumb. Here's the thing. So everything that I think you're complaining about could be explained if they had more time. I think the Whites left because they didn't have those big-ass chains with them. So they had to go somewhere to get chains. But that's like, they're not going to waste time explaining that they had to leave to get chains. But then where would they even get you know the I mean? chains? Like It's just so... Ah, it's really frustrating. Because how else would they pull a dragon out of the water like that? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like every opportunity they had, they fell short to making it even more badass. Like, he just throw, he threw a javelin and killed the dragon. Like, I feel like there was a better way to do that. And I don't even think, it wasn't even Viserion. In the leaks, everyone thought that Viserion would be the one that, was, that would die. And I think everyone still believes it, but... It's clearly Rhaegal. He has green eyes, and he's a green dragon. And th there goes yeah. John's father's dragon. So you notice that, it's, but it's like I wonder if it's if maybe they goofed up because you said that even the script was saying right. If yeah, the leak said that it was Viserion, but if it, if they fucked up, that's ridiculous because every single dragon has the color of their skin. Drogon has red eyes, Viserion has gold eyes, and Rhaegal has green eyes. And it was clear as day that the dragon that died had green eyes. So I'd be really mad if they try to play it off that like Viserion died because it clearly looked like Rhaegal was the one that died. Yeah. To me, I, I don't even think that matters that big of a deal. But maybe maybe to the book guys it matters. But it's their secondary dragons no matter it's what just, way you look at it. Uh, I don't know. Like there's like the action scene was cool, but like where was Bran? Why wasn't Bran in this, in this episode at all? Why are we focusing in on the Arya and Sansa drama, which I thought was pointless and it didn't make any sense to me either. Like, why wasn't he north of the wall working into a crow, helping them out? Why did Gendry have to run? We had to see him run to return a raven, which is the stupidest thing ever. Give Bran that role. He's watching them. Have him fly back as a crow. Have him warg into one of Daenerys' dragons and make her fly. I don't... The whole Gendry raven thing is one of the stupidest things ever. Yeah, that that, uh, that is where we get to my gripe. It's like, they have Bran, who has, like instant messaging around this world and they didn't use him for this the one we should thing, have been oh my god the so one thing I. they could have used is brand in this episode during the intensity we should have been seeing brand in the weirwood tree figuring out what to do how to protect them um we should have seen him messing with the night king and to me it was just a mess like even in the fighting like when daenerys arrives and burns everybody a lot of whites are just standing around watching and a, a few a select few are attacking john and it's like, sure, you could do that if you're trying to push a certain theory, but they literally were doing that for the sake of the plot that they were trying to push. Like, the whites that we've seen are just come in hordes and they don't stop, but these ones were controlled, and it just made absolutely no sense to me. Um, they could have used Bran, and I feel like they took, they really, they literally could have fixed some of the, like, a lot of these issues really easily, but they didn't. And, like, I, the ice to me was ridiculous. I, like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, this is bullshit. Like, did that really, does that make sense to you? The ice to me made no sense to me. Yeah, because they, they, okay, this is what I said. Like, it would take a lot to explain everything that happened in this episode. And yeah, they just didn't have time to. So water is obviously, like, it's just a waste to try and put these things across water. They can't swim. Those ones that were flipping around, just barely hanging on, were trying to grab Tormon whether or not they were trying to pull them down, they just grabbed them and stopped swimming so they would sink, right? So what it is is they they follow orders directly from their source, but they also have a base line of instincts is what it seems like to me. If they come to water's edge, they stop. 
because they know if they go into water, they're done for. And whoever the host White Walker is controlling them would want them to stop as well. And yeah, that's what happened. Thought, oh, so they man. started smashing the, the ice when hundreds of them started walking on it. So they went around it. Now the ice thing, I don't like. I don't know what the the geography of the North is. You would think it's just like the Arctic, but it could be something like Iceland, where they film it. And in Iceland, there's seismic activity, and there's like geothermal energy, so lakes could potentially be hot and hot, like boiling, and also sometimes stop being boiling and freeze over. So there is there is an out there, but that's what I mean. Like it's so complicated to explain, and they might not even care about that stuff. It's just like no. We I need think to you're do. really, I think you're stretch, stretching. stretching it to, like, really help the show out. Yeah, but like, what would be a better scenario though? What would be a better scenario for the guys being held up? Well, it's just like, like they're like we need a way to make them stay stranded so Daenerys can come, and it's like. Literally, the ice started cracking when 10 guys were on it. Like, and we, like, think about a winter in Canada. Like, you can't, you can't break through ice on a cold winter. Imagine up there, like, you're north, north. It's always winter there. And it cracks just like that. And then it freezes even colder than it was two days ago or a day ago. Like, to me, that made apps, like, it makes no sense. And I think it was just a cheap way to make them, to stall them. And, um, I just, we, we've seen them crawl over like crawl in the water and crawl out and like it literally was like a two two foot gap like i just thought it was ridiculous like what would stop them from crawling over each other to get to them i just thought it was i thought it was crazy like, i just think the loss the, would be too great the way i would fix it is like maybe we could try it like we know john's important i don't know what story they're trying to tell here but like I would love if the Night King would try and ha like really want John, want him for a, a particular reason, and he can't send his men in because he doesn't want to kill him. So he stands in strategic strikes, or something like that. And and Bran would get to Daenerys before Gendry has to run a marathon back to to uh, Eastwatch. Like to me, it's like it was a cheap thing, and like I feel like the action sputtered because of it because we get small bits of action and then we get them sitting on a rock and then we get a bit more action and then we get a, a, a an easy like you know the, the breaks to me like battle of the bastards was unbelievable because it focused on two stories you got daenerys conquering uh marine and you got john and uh sansa fighting the battle of the bastards yeah and at at the end it's clear that john defeated uh ramsey bolton and he now claims battle of the bastards this episode to me was like it was all over the place. It had no cohesive story uh, like Battle of the Bastards. It was just, I don't know. I thought it was just streamlined together. And then Winterfell, like, I think you felt more positive. How'd you feel about Winterfell? Yeah, like, I think we have differing opinions on this, too, when we were talking right after we watched it. It's just like, to me, it seemed like, obviously, Arya's pissed at what she found. And she was sort of flapping her wings saying like I'm not a little girl anymore and what you're doing is shitty to the point where like you said you had it bad I had it bad as well and I'm capable of uh, a lot more than what you think I'm capable of so don't fuck this up I just think one like some scenes were really out of place like I was fine with like I like the scene with Arya talking to Sansa about um, Ned Stark and how he watch Arya shoot arrows and how the rules were wrong and not Arya for shooting the arrows but like she got really angry over this letter which I think they explained well in in that uh, scene but after that when she sees Arya's faces and she goes like all like she went way too over the top to the point where I didn't even understand how like it didn't make any sense to me why she was being so intense what she was trying to uh get out of it i thought it was i thought it was kind of ridiculous no i just thought she, like i said i think she's trying to sh like flex her muscles and say like i'm not like your little sister you like you can't just fuck around with me you can't just say what you 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 think i'm supposed to understand and i'm supposed to understand it like i'm your little sister like i'm a full-blown adult now with some serious things that's happened to me i yeah, know what's going on here 
it just kind of blew my mind because like they they like they just got back together they were doing well and then one stupid letter from like five years ago changed everything so i and, and to like a really serious point so i don't know like it seems like they were setting it up so crazy to the point where i can't even believe that they'd get back together to defeat little finger or to move on from this he was it was really crazy, and the scene to me was so out of place, too. Like, we're spending so much time north of the wall, and then all of a sudden we're back at Winterfell and seeing Arya freak out on Sansa. I just felt like there was no construct with this episode. Like, it was all over the place. Um, so I, I, was, I was really, like, fuck, man. I was frustrated. With, I'm frustrated with this episode. I can't believe you're hating on the bear scene. That was amazing. The bear scene was cool, but, like, for me, I'm just looking at it from a writing perspective, and, like... I feel like every single scene should have enhanced the White Walkers. And I feel like it just took away. Like, why introduce the polar bear in that one scene? Like, I just thought the polar bear would naturally be with the group of whites. Like, why is it alone? I feel like they just did that to push the plot. Like, I just, I don't know. It's, it's really frustrating. And the whites, I feel like they treated them so different than... Uh, than last time and like the only re like true reveal that we got is if you kill a white then the or you kill a white walker then the ones that are following them also die which we've been talking about for a while with the night king yeah and they revealed that which was cool but like i was looking for another significant reveal like looking into john looking into uh, him as a targaryen because watch they're gonna tell us now he's he's a targaryen like they hinted at it last episode and I feel like they're just going to tell us now where they could have shown us in a really cool action sequence why he is Targaryen in this scene. And I feel like they blew it and they played it so straight down the middle. And um, yeah, like this stupid mission literally was just so they could resurrect a white, a white dragon. And it, it was it was Rhaegal, I think, which was an even more important dragon, which kind of blows my mind. So I have no idea. Well, it seems that we're like we're getting served like a whole new concept because we thought we had it figured out pretty good on a lot of things but now it's like as it stands it doesn't seem like the like the night king thinks john's anything special at all yeah like there's no there's no narrative there anymore it's that that look ominous look down on him at hard home when he defeated it was nothing and even at the look of him uh, at the shores of hard home don't, don't really mean anything now as well yeah because he, he would have made damn sure he was dead if that was the case he wouldn't just let him fall in the water so i don't know like that that's what's that's what's upsetting because they're like well fuck there's there's nothing there and also like the knight's king isn't looking for anything that we've seen now these guys came up and it was uh, they're just taking it as an ambush and they just wanted to kill them all yeah, I just... Like, it was, oh. now his motives seem even more cloudy. Yeah, it's like, I feel like they're just going to make him a weapon. Like, I feel like... Like, I'm trying to disassociate what I, like, predicted would happen. Like, I wanted some really cool reveals to happen here. We got literally no awesome reveals. But, like, just looking at the episode as a whole and how it was handled, I think it was poor. Like, the, the ice melting to me was ridiculous. And, uh, I don't know, I feel like it could have been handled way better. And just characters, again, like, they're... Like, there's some things where I kind of raised my... I was like, what the hell? Like, and this is my last thing I'm going to say about the episode. Is that <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Like, I, I, I enjoyed it when I watched it, but now I'm pissed again. Like, and, and I hate it. I hate being angry at Game of Thrones, but it's like... First is Mance Raider. Uh, Tormund says that Mance was a proud man. That he didn't bend the knee. That goes against Mance as a character. He said, fuck pride. That was the whole basis of his character, and Tormund threw that out the window. Tyrion said that when they go into the dragon pit, Cersei will try and spin a trap. They won't spin a trap, but we'll make sure if you die, we're going to burn King's Landing to the ground. I thought Tyrion was trying to prevent that for the whole season. And at the end of this whole shit, Jon says he's going to bend the knee. Yeah. Like, why? Like, this whole season you've been saying you're not going to bend the knee. I just thought it was so out of place and so stupid. And all these characters are going in, in directions to, to, to save the plot rather than sticking to their own guns like like john's only reason to bend the knee is like wow you came to our aid awesome well and she, she saved and she, life in a sense uh, but she already said she's like i will fight with you i will fight the night king because i lost my child 
and he's like, okay, I'm gonna bend the knee. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he just, it, oh, I, just, I thought it, I thought it was, it annoyed me. And Tyrion saying he'd burn King's Land into the ground, I just thought it was so against their characters. And it just, yeah, it really pissed me off. Well, it just seems like John never wanted what he had, and she proved herself as, like, an actual good person for what she did. Like, she technically saved his life, even though it was kind of, like, that's there's a technicality there. But she saved everyone else's life and completed the mission, right? And she left John for dead, in a sense, but she thought he was dead. But at the same time, because of what she did, Ugh. saved his life. But then it's like, oh, he's not dead. He'll fall in the water. He'll climb out of the water. And then here comes fucking Benjen. It's, uh, it's like, of course. I oh, don't know. Like, that's my that's my gripe. It goes back to my gripe. It's like, Bran could have been used in this to communicate with Benjen. And that's what I think is happening. But they didn't show it. Like, how else would Benjen know to go there? It has to it be just, Bran telling like, them. To me, it just it, it 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 was supposed to be emotional, but they ruined it. Like John 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 must stay behind to make the audience feel like he's gonna die again, and then just have Benjamin swoop in because we know he's north of the wall. Like he just came in, hit a couple of the whites, threw John on his horse, and we get a slow mo montage of him getting overrun by whites. Like it just it had no impact. Like he should have been with them the whole way, or it should have been Bran that saved him, or John should have rode the dragon for the first time. Like I feel like they literally. Every for the last two episodes, they've went with the worst possibility. I'm getting very annoyed, and I'm actually getting really nervous because I love this show and I don't like the way it's going. As we were sitting here, I just figured out a totally better plot. <laughs> I know, I I know. You get me it's, angry when you get angry at these episodes but because listen, it's listen true. This. Like honestly, Trev, we could write something better in 20 minutes. Listen to this. Listen to this plot. In the 20 minutes we've been recording this, Thoros, while still alive magically puts a ring of fire around them and it burns until he dies because it's exactly what happened anyways right and they couldn't cross it because it's magical fire yeah that can't know. be put out by the fucking knight's king and then he would have died it would have been more dramatic than how he died like we'd see him like kind of limping and putting the fire down with the sword and then yeah, like fuck yeah I know. and It'd then awesome. he dies and then it's like like he could have had the same moment like, fuck right he looks across and they all start charging and then boom Daenerys shows up with the dragon for some air support mission some oh, airstrikes it's, so, it's so annoying Bran could have warned Daenerys Bran could have been the, the reason for their mission beyond the wall instead of Tyrion's stupid idea that went against everything he's been saying before I just so annoying like honestly like I'm considering doing videos of rewriting this season and making it actually good <laughs> Cause like you need some fanfic. I just don't know what they're thinking. Like they like, ugh, like the ice melts. Really? Like they could have done anything, anything. It could be and a I, river. I was just thinking that too. Flowing yeah. water doesn't freeze, no matter how cold. Yeah, like usually. Uh, honestly, it could it could have literally been anything. Like Bran should have been in the Night King's head. Like that. What? That's what I would buy more. Like, the horde. Like, instead of having the horde just stop for the water, have the horde running in, and Bran sees that his 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 brother is getting overrun by whites, and have him finally get to the next level of his power, channel the weirwood, and get into the Night King's head and try and throw him off. Yeah, he and, stopped the horde and, in the yeah, circle. And, yeah, and the Night King is mentally fighting Bran, and we see Bran fighting on the weirwood while they're f trying to f hold, hold off the whites, and because of that, he ends up stalling the whites. Well, or he's something like, like that. Throwing Patronuses down. <laughs> like fuck, man. Like I just yeah, they could have done it better. I'm annoyed. I I'm really pissed off. I watched it and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. But now thinking about it, it's just what are they doing? What yeah. are they doing? I'm so annoyed, and I don't know how George R. R. Martin thinks of this because like, it, this is just so out of line. Like I I don't even understand the, what the producers are doing. Like they could have went any other direction. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, like maybe there's a lot of things that do get resolved or maybe there's a lot of backfill that they can explain in the last episode yeah like th that's another thing do we know anything about this last episode there were so many leaks and all these things so is there an, uh, is there a big episode coming or is it a, a, the usual sort of it's honestly nothing, nothing significant and it's like 
Yeah, these when these leaks came out, it was a big disappointment, and I thought that they were so dumb that I said it couldn't possibly be true, and I've been proven wrong at every single turn, and they've been confirmed right. Yeah. Every single time, and I thought that they'd have a clever way to explain it, but they really don't, and they're changing character values and and motives, and I just think it's ridiculous. F uh, theory about the bear. Do you think the Night's King converts, like, animals? Not to be a part of his army, but just to be living on? I don't know. I, like, and that's I maybe so. why it was by itself? It's just a shoot shot at the dark. Like, I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I really have to say about this episode. Just overall, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, the action was good, but, yeah, you got like, fuck, I'm pissed. Do you have anything else to say? I just like it is a shame. I don't. I wouldn't go so far to say that it sucked, but my expectations were a lot higher, and maybe that's why I'm a little bit sour on it. It's just yeah. I and know. like, what, will you ever remember the name of this episode? Like a hard home or like a no? It a was so Bastard. unrememberable. It's literally or a battle of the wall. Yeah, it, dude. It's my least favorite action-packed episode out of everything. Every episode nine beats it in my in my point of view oh yeah by far Ev every like hard home beats it everything centered around a big reveal beats it like this episode to me was like and it was a mess like every episode nine has a structure um season five focused in on daenerys and the dragon pit episode eight of season five focused north of the wall battle of the bastards episode episode nine of season six focused on the fight of winning winterfell back this thing was like, it, like Winterfell was thrown in there, and it d it didn't fit. Like Winterfell didn't fit in there at all. But they were trying to push the agenda for the next episode, and I don't even like the way they did it. And uh, the North of the Wall, like the action we got, was split up by a wait for a couple days because the ice is, has has melted a couple of feet. Like, come on! I just thought it was stupid. Oh, okay. I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> That was uh, that's my reaction for the episode. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Until next time. See you later, everybody. See ya.